Our top story at 6 a.m. Breaking news from the district, a deadly shooting overnight in Northwest. Police are still on the scene at this hour investigating that case. And Fox 5's Maureen Ume joins us now live from the scene in Northwest with the latest on the investigation. Maureen, good morning. Good morning to both of you. That's right. Uh, police still on the scene, uh, still looking uh, for evidence and also clues as to this uh, shooting that happened uh, just around 2 o'clock this morning. We understand there are two victims, an adult male uh, dead, a woman transported to the scene. Police are not confirming that the adult male has died, but our sources are telling us that that's exactly what happened. Let me step out of the way so you can see a little clearly. You're actually looking at video that we shot earlier of what happened here. Police are saying that this looks to be a targeted attack. They are looking for three men seen wearing dark clothing running from the scene. There have multiple shell casings, and they are now log knocking on neighbors' doors uh, to see if anyone heard or saw, saw anything. Not clear if this was some sort of a neighborhood beef that spilled over, or perhaps these were uh, people arguing over something specific. But again, this was a targeted shooting. We spoke earlier to 3D Commander James Boatler. This is what he had to say about the overall crime scene here in D.C. and the prevalence of gun violence, uh, claiming so many lives, uh, not just this summer, uh, but throughout the year. Take a listen. Preliminarily, this looks like a targeted attack. Uh, on the victims. Um, we have contacted, knocked on doors, and spoke with many of the neighbors in this community, and we'll be back out uh, this morning as well to speak with them to assure them that um, we will be in the area. Okay, so that was uh, the uh, commander again, just talking about the fact that this was a targeted shooting. But he did speak to the violence, uh, saying that it is out of hand. Police are doing everything they can uh, to try to get a hand on this gun violence, but it just seems to be pervasive. Again, two victims here on the scene: a male victim, a dad, a woman transported to the hospital, breathing uh, conscious, and uh, in, that's the condition they were taken to the hospital in. As for the road closures that Aaron talked about, those continue here on Second and Third Street in Florida Avenue in Northwest DC, but they are slowly opening up the area. But keep in mind. Police are saying they plan to be here for quite some time because this does remain an active investigation. They are still looking for clues, and they would still like to talk to neighbors about what they may have seen or heard when this all played out just after uh, 2 o'clock this morning. We'll be on the scene and continue to get updates and, of course, I'll bring it to you live in our later updates here in the newscast. Back to you.